Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores repeatedly has answered questions about the team's reported interest in making a trade for Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson by saying that Tua Tungavailoa is our quarterback. As more stories surface, with some suggesting trade compensation between the Dolphins and Texans has been settled, Flores was pressed Friday to take his Tua as our quarterback endorsement a step further. I asked him point blank if he could definitely declare that Tua would be the team's starting quarterback for the rest of the 2021 season. Definitively that he's the quarterback? Flores began. No, I mean, there's a lot of things. With that, I added, barring injury. Yeah, barring injury, yeah. That declaration is the strongest statement yet that Flores has made regarding Tua, even though it certainly could have been stronger. And it also wasn't nearly as strong as what he said in August after cornerback Xavier Howard requested a trade on Instagram because of a contract dispute that eventually was solved. We don't want to trade Xavier Howard, Flores said back then. Write that down. He's a very good player. He's a great part of the team. We don't want to trade Xavier Howard. Or we can go back to last October when the team actually released an official statement pushing back against a story saying they had fielded offers for Howard and included the sentence, we are not exploring any trades regarding Xavier Howard. Flores was reminded of that comment Friday and asked why he would handle the Howard situation differently. I wouldn't say it's different, Flores said. I would say I've answered that question by saying Tua is our quarterback. I'm not getting into speculation, I'm not getting into rumors, I'm not getting into rumor, speculation, distractions. Focus on our team, focus on our quarterback, and that's Tua. Again, I don't get into reports or rumors or speculation. I'm focused on our team and the guys in our locker room. And when we get outside of that, that's not where my focus is. My focus is on our players and helping them improve and get better. That's where my focus is. That's where it's always going to be. With reports of the Miami Dolphins' interest in making a trade for Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson surfacing regularly over the past several days, whether Flores' comments stop the Watson speculation, as he calls it, is questionable, if not doubtful, because there have just been too many reports out there to completely dismiss Dolphins' interest. And, to be fair, Flores is in a tough spot because he has to balance being honest and forthcoming with trying to support his players as best as possible. The whole situation has been uncomfortable for the Dolphins, but not nearly as much for anybody other than Tua. Let's face it, it's extraordinarily unusual for a starting quarterback to be asked during his weekly media session whether he feels wanted by his organization. I don't not feel wanted, Tua replied. That's what I could say. Then Tua was asked whether he'd like to hear the Dolphins officially say they're not interested in making a trade for Watson. Honestly, I don't base my emotions off of who says anything about me or who is saying what, Tua said. All I can do is my job and do it to the best of my capabilities. Everything else, I mean it's out of my control, but I have the utmost confidence and trust that I am the quarterback of this team, just off of conversations that I've had with Brian Flores and whatnot. That obviously stays between us. But yeah, I feel very confident that I'm the person. Flores was asked Friday why he hadn't yet made a more declarative statement. When I say he's our quarterback, Flores replied, that is me saying we're committed to him. The final Dolphins Bills Week 8 injury report, and what it means. Linebacker Jerome Baker and wide receiver Devontae Parker were among the four players listed as questionable on the final Miami Dolphins injury report for Week 8 ahead of their matchup against the Buffalo Bills at High Work Stadium. Both players were listed as limited participants for the entire week of practice, with the Wednesday injury report consisting of an estimation because it was a walkthrough. Parker has missed the past three games because of a hamstring injury, even though he's also listed with a shoulder issue. Baker sustained a knee injury in the Week 7 loss against the Atlanta Falcons and is hoping to keep intact his streak of never missing a game because of injury that dates back to high school. After Baker left the lineup against Atlanta, it was Sam Egavoin who got the bulk of the snaps at his linebacker spot, so one would assume it would be the same scenario if Baker has to sit out against Buffalo. Also listed as questionable were center Greg Mance and cornerback Noah Igbenogany. Mance missed the Atlanta game because of his injury and Austin Ryder played the entire game in his place. As for Igbenogany, he was injured in practice last Friday and also missed the Atlanta game, this coming after he played every snap against Jacksonville with Xavier Howard and Byron Jones both missing the game with injuries. No Dolphins player was ruled out for the Buffalo game. Speaking of Howard and Jones, both were listed as full participants Friday after being limited earlier in the week. 
Along with the four players listed as questionable, the only player listed as limited Friday was safety Brandon Jones, who has been nursing an ankle injury. But Jones didn't get a game status designation, meaning he'll be available against Buffalo. The Bills ruled out starting tight end Dawson Knox for the game Sunday because of a hand injury he sustained in their Monday night loss at Tennessee in Week 6. Knox scored a touchdown in Buffalo's 35-0 victory at Hard Rock Stadium in Week 2. Tommy Sweeney is listed as Knox's backup at tight end on the Bills' depth chart. Spencer Brown, who has started the past three games at right tackle for the Bills, was listed as doubtful with a back injury after not practicing all week. If he's out, the Bills could go back to veteran Daryl Williams, who started the first three games at right tackle before moving inside to right guard, and reinsert Cody Ford at right guard. The other player on the Buffalo injury report is defensive tackle Justin Zimmer, who was listed as questionable with a foot injury.